I am Derek Ni Ajay Ajay and I'm going to take you through the TPG portal. So first of all, let me start by introducing the two types of the portal. So we have here the live portal. That is tpg.ntc.gov.gh. So over here, when you register as a teacher, it's a valid account. If you are issued a license, it's a valid license. And if you register for a CPD training program, you register for a true CPD training program, which you earn CPD credit points for. So this is a valid portal. And then we have the dummy portal. So the dummy portal is TPG dash staging dot tk you can type it without adding this https for both of them so the dummy portal is where you is like a sandbox okay where you can do anything on the portal to test drive the portal and then you can move on to the main portal to provide the actual information the dummy portal is also more updated as in is the latest version of the portal which we migrate or promote to the production or the live portal once it's been fully tested okay so the the things you may see on the main on the dummy portal will not be what you see on the live portal currently until it's been thoroughly tested so i'm going to start by going to the dummy portal i'm going to open my browser so over here i have chrome i'm going to click on google chrome and then i'm going to type in tpg tk okay so it's already there and i'm going to click on enter so you realize i didn't add the https but it still brought me there so once you log on you open the portal the first time you see this information it says that if this is your first time on the site or are experiencing difficulties kindly visit the section on frequently asked questions um so what is telling you that you can go to the frequently asked questions also called fax okay and then you can search for a particular question you have in mind and see if it's the answered if not you can um, directly contact us to see if we can help so if you send this message and you don't want to see it every time you open the portal you can click don't show this message again and then we can go to the fax to see if the, if there are any questions we have that might be answered over there so i'm going to click on the fax okay so it's been loaded but there are no fax here okay this is because this is the staging portal so i'm going to go to the live portal let me go to the live portal tpg.ntc.gov.gh okay so I also got the same message on the live portal, but you realize that on the live portal, there is no red message at the top here as was in on the dummy portal. Okay, so in the next update, there'll be a message there. So I'm going to do the same thing over here and I'm going to click on fax. So over here, we see that we have some facts listed down here. We have one, what are professional standards and ethics, which if you want to view the answer, you can click on view. Okay, and then there's a definition of the professional standards and ethics. And it also provides a link to download the national teacher standards. Okay, that's great. So let's go back. So you realize that also, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, on the live one, and when you compare to the, uh, the dummy one, there's a red message at the top, a message in, with a background in red. But on the live one, the message is in the middle. So we have updated the way we display these kinds of messages. And henceforth, it should be it will be in red at the top here. So that will be in the next update. So we are going to use the, the, the staging portal for now, although I've opened the live one as well. So on the staging portal, we have here at the top, at the topmost, we have a message that's an emergency message NTC has published to the public. We have here in service GS teachers recruited before 2018 who cannot verify their staff ID should send pay slip and SNIT ID card to it at ntc.gov.gh and expect a response in 48 hours. So, and also, we are yet to receive data on GS teachers recruited late 2019 and beyond. 
Okay, so that explains the reason why GS teachers recruited late 19, late 2019 are not able to register on the portal yet. But they can send us their pay slip and SNET ID card to input their information on the portal so that they can register. So right under we have the teacher portal Ghana label, which when you click it brings you back to the home page. That's when you are not on the home page. And at the right side we have news fax login so the fax means frequently asked questions then the login button is when you already have an account on the portal and you want to log in and then right beside it is the language selector so currently it's only english but we are going to make provisions for other languages like french we have the news which ntc publishes to inform the public about any interesting or um, relevant information they need to know and then we've already seen the facts so let me start with the news so when we click on news here we have here the latest issues related to tpg and ntc so currently on the staging there is no news let me go to the live one so i hope you notice how i'm switching between the staging and the live portal the live one is tpg.ntc.gov.gh so on the live one when i go to news we have uh these articles so we have a gtle october 2020 results to be released on 5th january 2021 piloting of teacher portal training points inputs in three districts and ntc pilots in service teacher license as available municipal so you can view the features articles at the top here and you can go down to view all addicts all other articles that have been posted by ntc but have not been featured on the portal okay so now let me go back to the home page on the staging site so right under we have here teacher guidelines so after the welcome message there's the register now button which we'll get to shortly and then there is the we have these four buttons teacher guidelines organization guidelines training videos ntc training programs teacher guidelines is a manual developed with step-by-step -step instructions on how to register as a teacher, how to register for training programs, how to update your profile after you've submitted your information and your account is activated. So what I mean by how to update your profile is, for instance, you want to change your name on the portal or your date of birth after you've submitted and your account has been licensed. It takes you through the procedures, all those procedures. Organization guidelines, offers you guidelines specialized for organization so to view them you simply have to click the link and then download it for each of them training videos will host videos on how to use the portal and an, an example of the video is this video right now and it's currently empty so once we are done with the videos we will publish them over here ntc training programs are public training programs that can be attended by anyone on the portal what i mean is that it can be the users or teachers can register for the training program on the portal and then they will have access to certificates once the training program ends sent the certificates will be sent to their emails so we've gone through the four buttons at the top here now we have at the mid section bottom we have the accredited service providers so all service providers who have registered and have made all the necessary payments and their accounts have been approved by NTC. Their logos are displayed over here. So um, this, since this is the staging portal, these are not real service providers. And these are the logos of those who were registered and have their accounts approved on the portal. The next is the link to view licensed teachers. Or verify license teachers so at the bottom section we have here some information about ntc ntc's address and then a telephone number then we have gtle information gtle links which are currently not functional we have continuous professional development links we have regulatory services that licensing and registration of teachers inspection and monitoring compliance license teacher verification and then on the right side we have partner links 
So for the regulatory services, the one that's currently active right now is the licensed teacher verification. So when we click on that, over here, when a teacher presents to your office their license number, you can check online to verify if it's authentic. So you start by entering the license number in the space provided below. And I've just entered a random license number. So I'm going to click the search button and then we have the license number. I mean the information of a teacher. So since this is a dummy site, we are going to see dummy information. The name here is Abdul Hanan Abdullah. The license number PT slash 5012017. The expiry date is 26 January 2024. And the license category is admin. So on the live portal, when you try testing this, you will see actual license teachers. Okay, and on the live portal, these are the accredited service providers. And you see their logos here. So you can come here to make sure, I mean, to verify if a service provider coming to your district to organize training for the teachers have, have been accredited by NTC. And let me go to the bottom part, that's license teacher verification. We see here that in this in this version of the application, there's no search button and there is a time delay before it actually search for the license number you've typed here so we realized that this was a problem and we updated it in the staging so currently in the staging there's a search button so for here let me also type in a license number so these are the valid license valid license numbers we wait a while and then it gives you the information about the license holder so we have here christian adaipoku his license number license expiry dates the license category okay so let me go back now we've gone through a brief int introduction of the portal and now we are going to start our registration as a teacher so once you're on the page we are going to click register now okay so click on register now and then we have two options for the registration we have your teacher sign up organization sign up we are going to start with teacher sign up so i'm going to click on teacher and then i'm going to provide my information so my name is samuel okay let me actually use my real name okay and i'm going to input my email address here but i, I can really have to get a new email address because I've exhausted all my email addresses on this portal. So this is a temporary email address. So make sure to type in your actual email address. So I'm going to type in my email address and my telephone number. Since my telephone number is already on the portal, it's going to give me an error if I type in that telephone number again. Then I'm going to type in my password. So if you want to view your password, you can click on this I and then you are able to see the password you've entered. And then you confirm the password and it should be the exact password you entered previously. So let me make sure it's the exact same thing. Okay. And then we when after filling this basic information, we click send register link. Okay, so we are displayed with a pop-up dialog that says that our registration link has been sent. Please check your email. This link will expire in one hour. Please check your spam folder if you don't see the mail in your inbox. Okay, so it has given us three information that we should check our email for the, the link. It will expire in one hour. And if you don't see it in your inbox, check your spam folder. Okay, so to dismiss this message, to clear it away, we click dismiss. Now we go to our email to check if we received any message from NTC. Okay, I refresh and I have a message from NTC that says teacher accounts registration. Hello, Derek J. Welcome to the National Teaching Council Teacher Portal Ghana. We are receiving this mail in response to filling the TPD registration form to create a new teacher account. If you did not make this request, please ignore this email. Otherwise, the button below, click the button below to complete your registration. Since I made this request, I'm going to click complete registration.
Okay, so now my email address has been verified. And it brings me to this page. What I have to do now is click set up teacher profile. So with the identification section, we have here um, two fields. So select your teacher, your teacher type, and then your, you enter your student number. So I'm going to select my teacher type. I'm going to select public. So when you select public, it requests for your staff ID. Any other teacher type, you will not be asked for staff ID. Staff ID. I'm going to enter my SNET number. This is a dummy portal, so um, I do not have to enter my that SNET number. And then I'm going to enter my staff ID. And I'm going to click save. Okay, so it's verified my information and then it's brought me to the next stage. So once you verify, you identify yourself as a, a teacher, either in a public, private, newly qualified, NAPCO or national service teacher, you are brought to the basic information page. Here on the left side, you see your progress, your profile progress. It says here we have done 26% total and then there are some 14 fields remaining you can click what am i missing to see the fields that you are required to provide information on so over here i have to provide my title gender nationality all this information so i'm going to close it and start by filling in the information so i am mr my date of birth i'm going to select a date okay and then my nationality Ghana my gender male place of birth okay Accra hometown La. current address you enter your current address current district so basically this information is what's on the personal records form provided by GES. So you fill in the information to the best of your knowledge. I'm going to select a random district. If you have any other telephone number, you can input it here. And then over here we have dates of first appointment to bracket if any. So you can select today or the particular date of your first appointment but you realize that once you select a date after first september 2018 the gtle index number field shows this show this indicates that you are required to write a gtle exams once you are recruited after first september 2018 okay so i'm going to enter um a date before 1st September 2018 and the date is going to be verified on your first appointment letter which you upload in the employment section so please make sure to enter the right date year of first professional qualification that's the next and then I'm going to select the year I have my first professional qualification then proof of first professional qualification you are required to upload the certificate of your first professional qualification so you start by clicking on the space provided so click to select a file and then you click to select a file in this box again or you can drag the file and drop it here so i'm going to click again and then move to the folder where i have my files okay so i'm uploading my certificates my first professional certificate and then the next part is disability if any so if you have any of the stated disabilities listed here you please select it you and can then select. um when you are done you click save okay so my changes have been saved it moves me to the next section for the registration here this is specific to public teachers we have public teacher information we have to select our rank so you click this drop down and select the rank that best describes 
your your rank current okay select your current rank so i've selected my rank and then i'm supposed to upload a document that proves my rank again this is only for public teachers private teachers will not see this section so i'm going to upload a document proof of rank so this can be either your promotion letter or your pay slip since it's a test i'm uploading a test pdf and then once you are done you select your role either administration in the school classroom study leave or administration organization i'm going to select classroom when you select classroom you are required to enter the class you teach the subjects and then the particular station which means school or organization that you teach at so when you select station it gives you the list of schools you can pick from so i'm going to select one of them and then i'm going to click save so it's saved again and you can see that my progress is increasing i'm currently on 84 percent it's left with three remaining fields that's passport picture academic records and employment records okay so we're on the passport picture stage i'm going to click here as i'm clicking this section to upload the passport picture then i'll click then you click the square area again and then it opens i can search on my pc the document i want to upload so i'm going to look for my password picture okay i've, I've seen a picture i click to select and then now you can drag the picture you can move it around to best to make sure it fits inside the blue area okay you can zoom in zoom out if you're okay with it then you click on save so now my password picture has been uploaded now i'm required to enter records for my academic history i'm going to click on add academic entry so here you are going to enter your relevant education uh, academic records okay i'm going to enter tertiary start with tertiary all those secondaries present we recommend you start with tertiary and upload only tertiary certificates so i'm going to enter the institution that is the university of ghana let me let me make it okay it's okay it's fine university of ghana and you select the dates so that is let me pick a date start date and then end date so that will be 2012 and then the qualification end is bachelor of education is that we are going to upload our certificates so i'm going to click under the proof of qualification and then click here to select a certificate so i'm going back to where my documents are and then i'm going to select the file that is supposed to be my certificate for this particular academic entry so for this university of ghana this duration the bachelor of education i scan the certificate and then i'm going to upload it so once it's done you get a success message dismissed it asks if you would like to add another item. If you would like, you, you click yes. If no, no. So I'm going to select no. And it moves me to the employment history. So here I am required to enter where I've worked, all the places I've worked with. So since it's an education institution, we are an education reg regulatory body. It should be your relevant employment history. So employment history towards education. So I'm going to click add first employment history and this is supposed to be your first employment as a teacher okay and it can be in a teacher in a classroom or teacher in administration so I'm going to select teacher in classroom the institution name and then I'm going to select a particular institution okay and pick St. Augustine's College and then the position or rank you enter your rank during your um, the time you spent in that particular institution so the rank let me put in sup, sup one so superintendent one then the level this is an shs center Gessens college is an shs and then is this your current job if this is still your current job you can select this if not be selected 
you realize that when you select that this is your current job the dates over here we have here from and to the two vanishes so i'm going to select that this is my current job and i'm going to select the day i started so i'm going to select may 2016 that's the the month the month and year i started and then the district this school is in so that would be central and keep coast metropolitan and then now we are required to upload a proof of employment so this is your appointment letter okay the appointment letter so i'm going to select and then upload my appointment letter select save and we can see on the page it's uh, it's asking us whether we would like to add another item if no simply say no if yes click on yes so i'm going to say no the next step is license setup here you are required to make payments for your license but as public teachers the payment is go not going to be directly on the portal this is going to be from controllers end so you are done with the registration and you can confirm this on the left side on the left side you see that your account is pending activation by ntc and you've gotten 100 percent progress so you are done for now and you can log out